Hello. Pennywise is back and scaring up the box office. Don't worry, in a good way. New Line's It Chapter 2 hit theaters this weekend and launched to $91 million at the domestic box office. While the R-rated sequel from parent studio Warner Brothers didn't quite match the box office record of the original, it's still the second best horror bout of all time behind It. The sequel flick did, however, garner some of its own honors, earning the top bow for an R-rated pick so far this year. The IT sequel also took in $94 million from 75 markets for a global haul of $185 million. Domestically, the film came in 25% behind the original IT, which went on to earn a record-shattering debut of $123.4 million in its debut weekend in 2017. This could be due to several factors. The first is that the sequel earned a lower Rotten Tomato score than the original, with 67% compared to the first film's 86%. It Chapter 2 also runs a bit longer than the first film, specifically 35 minutes longer, bringing the film to 2 hours and 49 minutes. However, Warner's domestic distribution chief Jeff Goldstein isn't too worried about how the sequel compares to the original. For me, the big headline is that we now have the number one and number two horror openings. We always said this film would get to $85 million or $90 million. We were never going to hit lightning in a bottle again. The follow-up, which is the conclusion to director Andy Muschietti's adaptation of Stephen King's classic novel, stars Jessica Chastain, James McAvoy, Isaiah Mustafa, and Bill Hader, among others, as the adult versions of the kids who, 27 years earlier, battled the creepy clown Pennywise, played by Bill Skarsgård. For more updates to the story, head to THR.com. And until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.